Hey, 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 it's your girl, Cami Simmons here, back on the Trendsetter Lounge here on Hits 92.3 and First Class TV on Roku. Today, we have another special guest who will be joining us here in the lounge. She is all the way from Los Angeles. She's a Billboard charts um, artist. She's also starring in the musical 44 Obama musical. That's a musical right in Los Angeles. We have Shanice Williams or Wilson joining us. Hi, Shanice. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Glad to be on your show. Thanks. Yes. For We're so excited to um, have you and just delve into this conversation. I know you're starring in a new musical, 44 Obama musical in Los Angeles, California. Yes. And so let's get right into it. How long will the show be running? And let's talk about your role of playing forever First Lady Michelle Obama. Yes. Um, so we have a show tonight, which is, we have a show on the 8th, 9th, and 10th. And then we have um, a show on the, we have two shows, so the 14th and 15th. So our last night will be on the 15th of November. So get your tickets now. It's, it's a lot of fun. I am having a great time. The entire cast is amazing. Um, I got to give a shout out to TJ Wilkins. He plays Barack. He is so dope. And I just want people to know that it's, it's, there's, you're going to laugh. You're going to, you're going to cry. You know, there's, there's touching moments. There's just, just, there's great singing. Uh, it's just, it's a great time. I love it. Uh, EJ Bowman, I mean, EJ, Eli, sorry, e Eli Bowman uh, wrote and produced uh, the musical. And um, Carrie Gordy actually reached out to me and mentioned the musical to me. Okay. And Barry Gordy is, you know, Barry Gordy's son. And he reached out to me and, and asked me if I wanted to be a part. And I'm like, to play first lady? Are you, <laughs> what? Right. <laughs> so excited. It just came out of nowhere. And it was such an honor to play someone who is so, I just, I look up to her. I mean, just a woman with class and, Mm -hmm. I, you know, I love the way she supports her husband. I'm I'm married as well. So um, just looking at their relationship, you know, um, is, is just inspiring. And, you know, she's a strong Black woman. So I was just thrilled and honored to play her. Yeah. And speaking of your role, um, how did you prepare for the role of Forever First Lady Michelle Obama? Can you just uh, take us behind the scenes on how you, you know, got into character for this big role? Yeah. You know, um, I'm the new, I'm, I'm new to the, to the cast. They, they did a run before. So everybody, you know, worked together before. And when I tell you when it was time for us to rehearse, you know, the cast members, the director, Eli, you know, we just all like kind of helped each other um, prepare for this. And um, I'm a very shy person. You know, mm -hmm. I look at First Lady Michelle. She's just very strong and direct. And I knew that playing this role, I had to put all that shyness, <laughs> the shyness away. Right. To be more, you know. Um, direct and 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 um, confident mm -hmm. comes across extremely confident. So um, I just, you know, and I'm not trying to imitate her. I just want to mm -hmm. say, I, I didn't want to imitate her. I'm just telling her story through, you know, through music, through songs. Okay, and I know you mentioned T.J. Wilkins um, from The Voice. He's playing Barack Obama. How are or how was your chemistry working with Mr. Wilkins? Oh my goodness, our voices blend like perfectly together. We are <laughs> singing together. He is so amazing. Um, I love his voice. He can act. I didn't know he started out acting first. Okay. Um, and he's also my cousin through marriage. So, oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Played it. Keep it in the family. <laughs> because I knew him prior to the show. So, um, that really helped out a lot because I felt really comfortable right away. Okay. And um, just pivoting, our, before we come back, you all, we're going to be talking about um, 
Shanice Williams Wilson's makeup line. We're also going to be talking a little bit more about how you can go ahead and purchase your tickets for the Obama 44 musical in Los Angeles. We'll be right back after the break. It's Cami Simmons here, and joining me here in the lounge is Shanice Wilson, who is playing the role of Miss Michelle Obama in the musical 44 Obama musical right in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. So I love your single. I love your smile, Thank by you. the way, Miss Wilson. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Um, I just, every time I listen to the song, I'm always in my, you know, car, roaming down the street, you know, especially <laughs> on a beautiful fall day, just, I love your smile. You know, I love it. I love it. You can feel <laughs> all of the positive vibes through that um, song. And so my question that I have for you is, can you just talk a little bit more about the inspiration behind this song? Well, you know what? I co-wrote the song with Nara Michael Walden and his team. And, but when it was time to figure out what the first single was going to be, I did not really, I didn't want that song to be the first single. I told the record company, no, don't release that song. It's a wrong <laughs> song. And I just thought it was, it was too happy. I said, people are going to make fun of me. They're going to think mm -hmm. I'm corny. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, no. And then Gerald Busby, who was the president at the time, rest in peace. Um, he said, I'm releasing, I love your smile and I'm not changing it. And I cried in his office. I was at oh. Motown Records in the office crying. <laughs> no, this is wrong. And oh my gosh, I was so wrong. They didn't listen to me, of course. And they put the song out and it literally like overnight, just like, was like wow. number one. So many countries, Grammy nominated. I got to travel the world. Like it, it shocked me. Like I didn't, and I didn't even ex expect you know, people are still listening to it today. Chris Brown, right. you know, with Undecided. Yes. Kind of brought it back out all, you know, by using like some of the hook, like brought it back out all over again. So thank you, Chris Brown. And so it's like now a whole new generation is singing, I love your smile. So I'm really happy about yeah. it. Yeah. Even um, comedian Monique, she was dancing and she mentioned your hometown, she which is Pittsburgh. <laughs> I saw that. I love Monique. <laughs> You know, I, I I put out an independent project in um, 2007, 2006, which I just re-released it. You can download it on all digital platforms. It's called Every Woman Dreams. But we shot a video and uh, Monique is actually in my video. Wow. It's care of you. You guys got to check it out. You can see it on YouTube. But I was just like, that was so nice of her to, to um, appear in my video. So. I got to give a shout out to Monique. Yeah, I love it. I love your smile. Da, 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 da. I love that song so much. It connects to so many generations. That's what I love about it. It's like timeless. It's classic. It's all of that. Thank you. Yes. And I also want to talk about your new single coming out, Every Woman Dreams, part two. Um, let's talk about what some of the inspiration is behind that and what folks can look forward to listening to that single. Well, this is the thing. So Every Woman Dreams. I actually released it in 2006, mm -hmm. but I put it out in the rec in the in the record record stores because back then we weren't really capitalizing off of the internet. People, you know, we didn't have all the the platforms we have now, like Instagram and and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm actually it's actually a re-release, and um, now people can download it on all digital platforms, and it's called Every Woman Dreams. And um, when I was writing the project, I wanted to write songs that would inspire women and not only women, but just people in general to like, you know, move on if you're in bad situations. Hmm. Um, and I just wanted to write songs for women just to uplift, you know, uplift women, you know, and that's kind of like mentally where I was when I was writing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And what is it that inspires you or what can you talk a little bit more about how women have poured into you and have you how you have poured into other women and other people who you may shine your light on? How other women have poured into me. Mm -hmm. I, my mom, uh, I got to give a shout out to my mom because uh, she, ever since I was a little girl, have, has always been super support my mom and my aunt uh, my mom's sister 
they've always been like, you know, my biggest cheerleaders and just always told me, you can do it. You can do it. Keep going. And just, you know, I, I, I know like some people, you know, have people in their lives that kind of shut them down and, you know, tell them you can never, you'll never make it or, mm-hmm. and I never experienced that growing up. And so mm-hmm. I want to thank my mom and, you know, for always um, encouraging me and, and for uplifting me all the time. Even when I feel like I can't do it, my mom always uh, makes me feel like you, you can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah, love that. Well, we have Shanice Wilson here in the building, here on Hits 92.3 and First Class TV on Roku, who is starring as former First Lady Michelle Obama in the new musical, 44 Obama Musical, right in Los Angeles, California. We're going to be talking about her new makeup line coming up next right here. So stay tuned. Keep it locked right here with your girl, Cami. Hey, 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 Cami Simmons here on the Trendsetter Lounge on Hits 92.3 and First Class TV on Roku. We have a special guest in the building, Shanice Wilson, starring as <laughs> former First Lady Michelle Obama on the new musical 44, Obama musical in Los Angeles. She's also a trendsetter. She's a star. She's a, a top Billboard charts artist. Uh, right here in the studio. And so let's get right into this conversation, uh, Shanice. Let's talk about your new lipstick coming out called Smile, which goes perfectly with your single Smile. Uh, Tell (laughs) us how that partnership came about. So uh, when I Love Your Smile was released back in the day, I've always, I thought about it then. Like I said, I want to have my own like cosmetic line, but I just didn't know how to get it going. I didn't know where to begin. Um, so I started doing my own research and, um, I wanted to put out something that was safe. Um, and I have, now I have a vegan, uh, lipstick line and it's called Smile by Shanice. And I'm actually revamping my website. So this week I'll have up all my new like products and everything. So just give me about a week and I want you guys to go to smilebyshanice.com and purchase my lipstick, my vegan lipstick line. Okay. Really what are some of the colors? What are some of the names of the lipsticks? <laughs> if you have that ready already, what are some of the, what can people expect with the colors and the names of some of them? Yeah, I have like a, you know, smile orange, smile, it's just a smile orange, smile red, smile plum. I love the plum and the red and the orange. Um, I have a smile nude, smile gold. So those are the colors so far. <laughs> okay. And they can head on over to your website, which is beauty of... It's smilebyshanice.com. Got it. Okay. Is, um, this week, we're going to relaunch everything this week. So. Okay. Well, stay tuned, you all. You guys heard it first here on the Trendsetter Lounge on Hits 92.3 and First Class TV right here on Roku. Also, I know your daughter, Mani, she is doing some amazing things on yeah. social media. I was yeah. checking out her Penny Proud <laughs> video. <laughs> yes. My daughter and my son, they're both really, really talented. They can both sing. Um, they can both act. I mean, they they do it all. And... Um, We actually put a single out on my daughter uh, earlier this year, and she remade um, Aaliyah's version of At Your Best. Wow. Uh, So, yeah, so you're going to hear more from Imani and Elijah um, very, very soon. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the lounge, Shanice. It was a pleasure. (laughs) And everybody, go get your tickets. Go to 44ObamaMusical.com and purchase your tickets. Yes, and 44 Obama Musical is now in theaters in Los Angeles, California. So if you're making your way over there in the West Coast are already there, definitely purchase your tickets. It runs now until November 15th. We have more coming up right here on the Trendsetter Lounge. We got some good music. We got some, you know, dose of inspo where we inspire you, you know, because we got to encourage and empower you and so much more. Keep it locked right here, right here on Hits 92.3 and First Class TV on Roku. 